It started to smoke, you guys. I don't know if you can see this, but it's smoking. Hey, you guys, this is going to be really exciting. Today might be the day that we're burning down the shop. I hope not. <laughs> but uh, today we will be checking out the exothermic reaction of epoxy. We'll be using this total boat deep penetrating epoxy. And if you don't know what the exothermic reaction is, is when things go bad, the epoxy gets really hot, it starts to smoke and it could ignite. Now I was using these guys yesterday on a piece of wood that I um, I'm making a charcuterie board from and I use this to seal my piece of wood because it did have a lot of voids and some rot and I cleaned it up as much as I could but then I wanted to seal it and uh, things got bad, things got smoking and um, today I want to reproduce that scenario and show you guys what could happen. Now I am prepared. I do have not one but two fire extinguishers right here and also I have my red fireproof can that I use to put my oily rags in it so I don't start the fire. So in, th in case of things goes bad um, those will be my things that I'll be using to you know put out the fire or to save my shop and um, let's get mixing see what happens. Now this is a two to one epoxy that means two parts A, one part B. So I'm going to measure this by weight. I'm going to bring you in close. And um, let's see. Uh, just so you know, the temperature in my shop, I just checked at the 70 degrees Fahrenheit in the shop and uh, about 60% humidity. I do have a infrared thermometer. We'll be taking the temperature of this epoxy constantly to keep an eye on it. So let's see. We need two parts A. I'm not going to lie, you guys, I'm a little bit nervous to do this. But you know what? We'll do it. We'll be careful. So let's see. So I have 221 grams of part A and now I am going to zero it out and put about 73 part B. There you go, 73. And as you can see, the mix is uh, clear but cloudy, no color to it. So let me move you back up. And I am going to mix it with a stirring stick until it becomes clear. That's what the instruction says. There you go, all clear, as you can see. And I'm going to take the temperature right now of the inside of this cup. And right now it's 78 degrees. So 78 degrees right now, I'm just gonna put it down and we'll keep an eye on it. And let's see. Uh, while we're waiting for this thing to heat up, I don't think it will take that long. So what I will do is I will take this shellac seal coat so we don't just sit here and look at the cup and um, I'll be sealing this other piece of red wood that I got on an auction and this one is going to become an epoxy project and I want to seal it I'll be sealing it tonight and then in a couple of days it's going to go into a mold I'll make sure I'll film the whole thing but today while I'm sitting here measuring temperature of this epoxy getting hot we're going to put this uh, seal coat on the wood and we'll keep taking the temperature so you guys get to see the pretty grain of this wood while we're waiting for smoke and fire to happen. I've never used a shellac for my epoxy projects to seal but I like experimenting so I'll be doing this. Again let's take a temperature here it is 79 degrees so not heating up yet 
day I didn't do much woodworking it's been kind of like a lazy day what have you done in your shop today by the way if you did not join our Facebook group it's called sawdust and splinters woodworking group we have almost 2,000 members now even though I just started it a few weeks ago a month ago so it's growing really really fast I love looking in there and seeing the projects you're working on thank you so much for sharing and if you do not join please consider going and joining our little family where we can share our projects you guys always get to see what I'm up to but I don't really get to see what you are up to but that way I get to see it ah oh, look how pretty that is it's going to be so pretty all right oh i can feel it is warming up you guys let me take my gloves off and right now i should probably not keep my hand under it so we can take a more accurate it's 92 degrees and it's 8 22 so it's been 10 minutes all right, you guys, it's 8.25, so it's been about 15 minutes. And right now it's 103, almost 104 degrees. 8.28 and the temperature is 122.23, as you can see, it's going up. Started to go pretty quick now. I can feel it, it's warm to the touch. 130 degrees. All right, you guys, it's been just exactly 20 minutes since we mixed this epoxy. So let's see. 152, as you can see, goes up quick. We get some glare on my screen. Let me just move it a little bit. There you go. That's better. 154, 157 started to heat up pretty quick now, just like I said. The cup really feels warm to the touch. Again, this has been exactly 20 minutes since we mixed it. Heating up really, really quick. And you will see when it gets really hot and it cures, it changes from this clear color, like you see right now it's clear, it will change to a yellow color. 174 it's emitting some good heat I can feel it on my hand we're hitting 200 degrees here we're going over As you can see, a lot faster now. 214, 213. Well over 200 degrees. 221, 225. I should probably get my red can ready just in case. It started to smoke, you guys. I don't know if you can see this, but it's smoking. Can you see that? It's truly a smoking. I hope this thing doesn't start a fire. We are at 270. It's gonna melt the plastic. 284, 282. All right, this is not a joke. I'm gonna put it in this bin just in case. I hope you can see all the smoke is coming out. Hold on. Look at that. The lid doesn't wanna stay open by itself. Hold on a second. Oh man, I wanna see what temperature it is. I do have the fire extinguisher ready. 
This thing is 360 degrees. It started to solidify. The cup is warping, as you can see, as you could imagine, at that temperature. You know what, you guys? I'm gonna take this outside where it's cooler because I'm getting a little bit nervous. Um, I'll keep taking the temperature and I'll let you know what it is. All right, so we're on my driveway. I apologize, I'm not, I didn't bring the tripod, but um, it cooled off immediately pretty much when I took it outside. It's a lot colder here, still over 300 degrees. It's cooling off since it's colder outside. And the concrete is pretty chilly, it just rained. But uh, still pretty hot. You see how yellow it is now? All right, so here it is. Um, right now, 3, 330, 327, cooling off and solid, lots of bubbles, shrunk the container. So you guys, this was quite of an experiment. Uh, I hope I didn't bore you in the beginning while we are waiting for this guy to heat up. Right now, it's still at 322 degrees. I'm going to put this guy on the driveway onto my red can, let it cool. And uh, I'm gonna leave the red can open so it has air and, you know, circulation. And uh, I hope this was helpful to you. I'm not sure exactly what it proves other than be careful, read the label, never leave your mixed epoxy unattended. And definitely don't pour tabletop epoxy or fast curing epoxy into very deep pours because this exothermic reaction will happen and you could burn down the house or your shop or whatever you're working. I hope this was helpful to you and you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I'll see you in my next video.